Hi everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Christina Aroche and I am the Archangel channel and in today's video what I want to share with you and talk about are the three keys to being a successful healer. And the term healer here means anything that is related to supporting people in transforming their lives, transforming their energy, helping people to shift, helping people to really step into whatever kind of journey or path you are specifically guiding them with, and also bringing the expression of your truth into the world. Because at the end of the day, whatever it is that you are expressing from your heart, from your soul's truth, from your energy, it is healing for the world. Whether you create music, whether you create art, whether you are a coach, whether you are a healer, whether you are any other type of mentor or creator, basically, this is for you, okay? And I wanna talk about the three keys to success. And when I say success, you know, uh, first of all, that means something different for everyone, but really to me, what that means and the context in which I am sharing it in is really related to being able to live in the potential of who you are as a healer. Right? meaning that you are reaching the people that you're meant to reach. You're creating the impact that you're meant to create. You are being fully supported on your path and on your journey to be able to show up in the way that you desire to show up, right? To me, that is success. Success is when you're able to just be your true self and make that impact and show up in that most beautiful, highest potential type of way, okay? So the first thing, Okay, the first key to the success is all about releasing that fear of judgment and what other people are going to think, what other people are going to say, what other people are going to, how they're going to perceive you or any other form of that judgment that we are afraid of from others. Okay. And this is a big one. This is a huge one, especially if you are stepping out into the world, you know, in your own way, desiring to create your own business, if you are wanting to put yourself out there in terms of your gifts or your abilities, right? Especially in, and especially if you are moving into the world of energy healing or channeling or any kind of spiritual work. I mean, this is the case regardless, but I found I have found that, you know, especially when it comes comes to the spiritual stuff, that can often be a huge factor of resistance for people is, well, what are people going to think when they find out that I'm a channel or that I'm an energy healer or that I want to offer these kinds of services or whatever, right? And so the thing here to, to understand when it comes to releasing this fear of judgment is that you have to trust in yourself and trust in what you're being called to do. So if you have this pull and calling within your heart to do art, to make music, to be a healer, to do energy work, to be a coach, to whatever, right? Whatever it is for you. Um, you have to trust in that. You have to trust the calling of your heart that it is there for a reason because it is there for a reason. It is your soul guiding you and showing you what you have come here to do. It is showing you what your purpose is. It is showing you the impact that you are capable of creating right? And the biggest, one of the biggest things that holds us back from stepping into that is because we're afraid of what other people are going to think. And so the way that we move through that isn't necessarily in the sense of, I'm never going to feel that fear again, because that fear of judgment from other people will pop up every once in a while along your journey, especially as you're stepping into something big. The key here is that you are releasing that hold that the fear has on you, right? You're not making decisions based on that fear. You can see the fear, recognize it, see, oh yeah, I am afraid that people are gonna judge me. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is that, well, you know what? At the end of the day, I still feel this call and I still know that this is what I'm here to do. And I know in my heart that this is what I desire and following that and trusting yourself and knowing that when you trust in yourself and you follow your calling, everything always works out, okay? I'm most likely going to do a whole video on this topic because I feel like there's so much more that I, that I can get into with regards to this, but for now, that is the key, 
is to focus on the sense of trusting in yourself, trusting what you feel, trusting in that calling. And then that creates the energy and the vision that is much greater than what the fear is, right? So when we can create that energy, like let's say the fear, you feel the fear coming up and it's right here. So what we want to do is create an energy that's even bigger than the fear, right? The calling is even bigger than that fear. That desire is even bigger than the fear. That knowing that trust in yourself is bigger than the fear. So then you can still feel the fear, experience the fear, know that the fear is there, but it's not holding you back. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, the second thing, which kind of follows off of what I just said, which is number two is follow the desires of your heart. And so what I mean by that is, especially when it comes to creating your services, your offers, your products, your whatever creative expressions, whatever it may be, when you follow what you feel really called to do, that is going to be such a key energy to be in, in order to create that successful impact in order and also to call in and magnetize the people who are meant to receive your offers. Okay. So if you're doing something that doesn't feel exciting to you, that you're doing it only because someone told you to do it, because you think you should be doing it, because that's what everyone else is doing, but you're not actually excited about it, the energy is going to feel flat. And when the energy feels flat around those types of offers, people are just gonna, they're gonna see it, they're be like, oh, okay, that's cool, but they're not gonna be drawn to it. You know what I mean? Whereas if you approach the, the offers that you create from a space of, what do I feel really excited about right now? What do I really want to share? What do I want to create? What do I want to teach? What do I want to do? Right? That feels awesome. That feels exciting. That just feels like, Ooh, this is inspiring me. And, and I get this buzzing feeling. I want to do this. Then the energy that you put out there with, re with regards to that offer is going to be so different. It's going to be so potent, so magical, so powerful, and people are going to feel that. And that is what magnetizes people to your offers. That's what magnetizes people to the work that you put out there. It's because they're like, oh my gosh, of course, <laughs> I want that. That feels so incredible. And, you know, they just feel drawn to the energy. And that is a key with regards to, you know, following your journey in terms of your healing work, your business, your creative expressions, whatever it is that you're putting out there is as you're following what feels the most exciting, everything falls into place. Okay. And, you know, I've done this, I've done this so many times in the past until I learned this, which is, you know, someone would tell me, you should do this. This is what you need to do. And even though inside of me, it didn't feel exciting and it just felt like, really? But they knew more than me, right? Like I was giving my power away. And of course, when I created those offers, it fell flat, <laughs> you know? Um, and then as I learned to trust myself and I learned to follow the desires of my heart and I learned that whatever it is that I really feel excited to put out there and I'm just going to go for it, what happens is that it's also this knowing that whatever you feel excited to create and put out there, it's because there's people who are ready to receive it. Okay. So if you are afraid that, okay, this feels really exciting, but who's going to want to purchase this or who's going to want to receive this offer or whatever, know that there's a reason why it's in your heart and why it feels exciting. Okay. This is the way that the universe guides you. It guides you into creating certain things because it knows that there's people on the other side who are waiting for it, but you might not know that, but it's, it's, it's that sense of trust. Okay. I'm going to put this out there and I'm going to know that if I'm excited about it, if it feels good, it's because people are ready to receive it. Okay. But you don't know that until you actually do it and you're in the process of it. Okay. So number two is all about following the desires of your heart and what feels exciting to put out there into the world in terms of offers, in terms of services, products, whatever, whatever it is that you do. Okay. And then number three is to know that your healing gifts is an art. Okay. I've mentioned, you know, earlier in this video art. And when I was saying that I was literally specifically meaning, you know, artwork in the sense of painting or drawing or whatever, but your healing gifts in general, however they look like, whether it is painting, whether it's singing, whether it's writing, whether it's energy healing, whether it's teaching, whether it's whatever, whatever kind of form of creation that comes through you, 
but your healing gifts, they are an art. Okay. And what I mean by that is that this is a process that is unique to you. So no one else in this entire world does whatever the healing gift is the way that you do. So even if we're talking about two energy healers side by side, right? Reiki, people who do Reiki, people who do angelic healing, people who do other types of healing, right? The way that they do it is going to be different. It's not going to be exactly the same. And if it is exactly the same, then you're not maximizing your gifts and your potential and what you're capable of bringing to other people. So it's not about replicating how someone else is doing it. It's about using that as a guide, guide, guidebook, a, a framework, a way to kind of see, oh, okay, that's, that's the general structure, but then taking it and making it your own, right? So a really great example of this is if we think about painting, right? And, I, you know, I'm a super, super amateur at this, so I don't know the technical terms or any of that, but from what I know and see, there's obviously different techniques, right? Brush strokes, different types of brushes, different types of paints, different types of, uh, types of elements that you can use, all of those things, right? When it comes to creating a painting. And yet there's however many amazing artists and painters all around the world. And if you give them the same kind of image to recreate, every single person is gonna have a different um, outcome or a different painting that that is a result of them trying to replicate a certain image, right? And the reason is because they have their own unique tone to it, that their own unique flavor that they add, their own unique perspective, their own unique, you know, mixing of the colors, right? So if you think of it in that sense, it's very similar to when, when it comes to healing, when it comes to working with energy, when it comes to anything that you do, right? With regards to your healing gifts, it's going to be very unique to you. And so when you embrace the fact that your healing gifts are an art and that it's something that you get to master and get really good at in your own unique way, and you have that sense, again, if we come back to trust, trusting in yourself that you are going to figure it out and that you are going to find your unique way, that is what then creates this magic potent energy. That then is also what draws people to you because you are living in the authentic expression of who you are, of your gifts, of your abilities, of the magic that you share. You're no longer toning it down or trying to fit into a certain box. You are free. You're being your true self. You're allowing that beautiful, magical energy to come forward in whatever way it's meant to, right? And when we try to put ourselves into a box, we try to do it a specific way, then we kind of, you know, water down what is possible for us okay so that is step number three or you know the key number three when it comes to um being successful as a healer and really putting yourself out there in the world and this is one of the, some of the things that i have learned throughout my own journey of stepping into this work of doing this uh work for myself but also guiding other people through it and one of the things that I'm so excited and passionate about is supporting other people, emerging healers, to come forward and to really show up in their truth and in their potential. So there's a couple of things I want to share with you. One is that I want to hear from you in the comments below, first of all, and I want you to share with me what kind of healer you are. What is the work that you do? What is the magic that you bring? Okay, post that in the comments below. I wanna hear about it. I wanna hear about your work or the things that you desire, right, to, to bring forward. So maybe you're not doing it yet, but you have an inkling, you have a feeling about what that may be. So post that in the comments below. Second thing that I want to share with you is that right now I have the doors open to my year long mastermind called The Healer's Code. And really what this is all about year-long mastermind, weekly calls, daily support through a private chat is guiding you every single step of the way into becoming the true, successful, incredible healer that you know you're meant to be. So this is for you if you are on that path of knowing that being a healer, doing this work, showing up in this way, creating an impact in the world in your own unique way through your own business is what you desire. 
right? Knowing that this is what you're meant to do. This is your full-time thing that you desire to do. Whether or not you're doing it full-time right now, that doesn't matter, but you know that you're on your way there. Okay, that's the key thing. If you're kind of not sure if that's really your path, then this might not be for you because this mastermind requires you to go all in. Right now I have seven spots open for the Healer's Code to start in October of 2021. So it officially starts October 6th and it's going to go for a full year. So right until end of September, 2022. So if you are on this path and you've been struggling, you've been feeling like kind of spinning around in circles or just not really certain of how to get started, how to grow, how to put yourself out there, how to create a business that not only are you able to show up in your truth and your potential, but that actually creates the impact and the income that you desire. Okay. I'm talking about a 12 month mastermind to a six figure business. Okay. Because that is possible. You are capable. And if that is what's on your heart, that means that you're meant for it. Okay. So the healer's code is starting at the beginning of October and I would love to have you in there. And so if you're interested in this mastermind, I have the link with all of the details in the description below this video or in the pinned comment, or if you're watching me from Instagram, it is in the link in my bio. Okay. And so if you feel called, trust in yourself, trust in this process, trust that you are being guided, trust that this is for you. And my intention for you is that not only is this going to support you in being able to see yourself for who you truly are, being able to really amplify and open up and use your gifts to their greatest potential, but also that it's going to support you in helping you to become the entrepreneur that you are meant to be. The one who is business savvy, the one who is um, creating the impact, the one who is creating that global reach and that global transformation that you know in your heart you're meant to be creating, okay? Um, and so if you know that this is for you, feel called, go check out the link in the description below in the comment or in the link in bio, and you'll find all the details there. And then if you have any questions, you can always reach out. You can send a contact form submission from my website. Um, but I'm so excited. This is going to be such an incredible, powerful mastermind a year long. I'm here to support you. This is one of the highest levels, high touch ways to work with me. And as being someone who has been doing this for almost five years now, who has reached and surpassed beyond that six figure level, who has made mistakes along the way, I'm here to show you that you are capable, that it's possible for you, that you're meant to do it. Okay. One of my missions here on earth is to bring forward these amazing, powerful healers who are here among us. You're watching this right now. Okay. Your gifts do not need to be hit, hidden anymore. They are meant to be shared. They're meant to be shown to the world and people are meant to receive that. And we all know that this is needed now more than ever before. So if you're interested, go check out the link. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out. Otherwise you can grab your spot and I will see you inside the healer's code. So if you enjoy this video today, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anyone who needs to hear this message, then please feel free to share this video with them. And of course, if you are not subscribed yet to this channel, then definitely subscribe so that you do not miss any other future videos. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. And as always, I'm sending you so much love and angel blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye.